The starship design is extremely close to being done, and if you're watching here on YouTube, you'll be able to, to see this, but we'll, we'll put this online on social media too, so you guys can see it. So, this is the case for the new Starship pen, because... We got the pen design down, but you know, how is it gonna get delivered? How are we gonna make sure that it's not gonna get knocked around and you're not gonna lose booster engines here? You know, nobody wants to be losing booster engines, especially on Starship. We want all engines to be able to fire. Now, the Starship design really came out great. The ink, so you can hear this, the ink, is contained and reusable and the engine stack at the bottom twists out you twist it out 90 degrees and you pull out the cylinder the ink cartridge comes out and you can put in another one and so it's really easy and it's not like you're buying a pen because the other thing we didn't want to do was just make you pay for a pen that then you know the first version the ink wasn't working so we had to figure that out we found a really nice uh ink cat ink cartridge. I don't know why that's such a difficult word to say. <laughs> word to say. Uh, but we found one that we really liked that wrote well, that was reliable. And then once we got that down with the 0.2 millimeter nozzle, again, that's, that's really small. Um, you know, the standard is 0.4 millimeters for the diameter of, you know, most 3D printers. And so 0.2 is, you know, you really have to control your flow and your temperatures to make sure that that filament is flowing really well through that really, really tiny hole. So, but we were able to do it, and we're able to repeatably print something that is uh, similar quality, and we're just dialing it in a little bit more. The bottom, the engine stack, there needs to be a little bit more work done on, like, where you will use your thumb and your finger to turn it. That's going to be something that needs to be implemented a little bit better. I think it's got to be a little bit thicker. But, yeah, so we're working on that. And the tube itself... We have some really, really cool filament. We have, this is like a galactic purple where it's got a bunch of sparkles. And on the case itself, we have the word Starship em embossed. So it is coming off from the surface. And then we have hexagonal tiles kind of all around the outside of the cylinder, just like you'll see on Starship. Those, those heat tiles are the same shape. So a lot of just good space nerdy fun packed into what we're, what is going to be our first of many rocket pens. So the Starship rocket pen will be available at ag3dprinting.etsy.com. That's where we have our Etsy shop. And, you know, we've been going strong there for a while, and this is going to be our first real premium uh, product, although all of our products are high-quality 3D printed products. This is definitely one of the premium products that we're going to have out there. And this first one is going to be priced to a place where you'll be able to support the podcast, but you're not going to break your bank here. It'll make a great gift for the space nerd in your life or yourself, however <laughs> however you feel, uh, see fit uh, to deliver this most powerful rocket pen ever 3D printed. So, <laughs> so I'm looking forward to sharing that with you. As we've been filming, we've been tweaking, we're on revision 10 of the Starship pen, and we're on revision 5 of the hex holder for the pen, the tube. So the space tube. So, uh, yeah, really, really looking forward to this guys. Check out YouTube for the video of us three printing. We've got a bunch of footage that we've been putting up there of our iterative process. And that's it. AG 3d printing, bringing our ideas into reality. We can help bring yours into them too.